Recently, my cousin and I devoted two days of our time to creating our own homemade sugar rockets. So this is going to be a compilation of each of our different launches, how we made them, and uh, the different things that occurred during each launch. So we made the rocket fuel by using the tutorials listed below. <laughs> And cooking the actual fuel was pretty difficult because it took a long time and it's very clumpy so it's hard to mix and scooping it into the actual rocket bodies is a lot harder than it looks. So for the first two launches we tried using a more traditional rocket design, however these designs were too short and didn't fly very well. straight. Oh, it's burning on the ground. Here you can see the aftermath of the launch pad. After seeing the results of our first two launches, we decided that we would add rust to the rocket fuel formula. Our way of acquiring the rust was by going to the train tracks and using sandpaper to remove it. So on this rocket we placed a small copper fitting with a quarter inch hole drilled in the bottom. Therefore there would be a lot more pressure build up and more force. However this rocket could not withstand the pressure build up and the top flew off which is what can be seen flying up as the actual rocket only reaches about 10 feet in the air. Where'd it go? Coming down, coming down. In the rain, I am currently wet and enjoying it. Oh, it may have gone out. Oh, no. Come on, please go off. It's gonna go off, dude. It's gonna. Is it gonna go off? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, your launch pad is fucked. Dude, rip. <laughs> Yo, take your phone. Right. Jason, Jason, take your phone. I wonder if I had to beat the water. What melted? Oh, is this all PVC? Dude! Yo! Yo. <laughs> Look at the ground. Oh. It has the sketchy metal nozzle built in. Oh, yeah, maybe we should back up some more then. What? Oh my god. Oh, now it's in, now it's in. Oh my god. Let's go check this out. <laughs> Rocket engineers out here. What? <laughs> what are your thoughts? It's beautiful. It's a little flaccid, but beautiful. This was definitely our best launch yet, and we used the same technique as we did in launch 3 with the copper fitting. However, this time we also added a plastic fitting on the top to prevent the top from shooting off like it did in launch 3, and as you can see it worked quite well. Okay. 